think of the right words to convey Sam's meaning to me, to his friends, to his family. I realize that such words don't exist. They can't. Their existence would imply regularity. And we all know that Sam is all <laughs> <laughs> A friend of mine emailed me upon hearing about Sam and said something that really struck a chord. I may not have known him well, but I know that if he was that important to you, I know that he must have been exceptional. Exceptional. Everything about Sam was exceptional. His approaching me at a nightclub, not despite my making a fool of myself with low sticks, but because of me. His passion for origami and his work with Dr. Wilson researching the application of that art form to organ regeneration. <laughs> his unwavering commitment to his ideals and to speaking up for what he believed was right and just, regardless of the audience. His loyalty and friendship, offering friends a place to stay when they needed one most, even if they had nothing to offer in return, say the psychedelic mural hanging on his wall. <laughs> his active effort to make even strangers and just new acquaintances feel completely welcome and cared for. His voice, his singing, his acting, his improvisation, all exceptional. Looking around and seeing a number of different people here today who have all said the same thing, how much Sam has helped them is a testament to his exceptionalism. He has touched so many people throughout his short time with us in a way that is wholly unique to him, a way that can never be replicated, never be replaced, and most certainly never be forgotten. We should all strive to have an impact on others, such as the impact he's had on us. Personally, it was his love that was exceptional. But it took me some time to realize that. I was looking through my old text messages from a year ago when I first met Sam. I thought I was the luckiest guy, bragging to my friends that I had a boy with beautiful blue eyes, a completely disarming smile, who swam to do color guard, knew what drum corps was. Being a ballroom dancing former bandy who enjoyed attending, attending drum floor competitions, I couldn't believe the pot of gold that I had found. <laughs> a friend responded to one such, such text, could this be real life? I didn't think it was or that it could be. Could I have been that lucky? Or could I have asked for anything more? Little did I know, but would soon find out that I was way luckier than I could have imagined, that I was going to get so much more than good luck since the common interest. Here was a man whose intellect was unmatched, who enjoyed having philosophical discussions more than I did, who would put up with my ballroom obsession even though he didn't like to dance, whose family welcomed me with such open arms and took me in as one of their own. Most of all, I was lucky to have experienced his love, his fears, Genuine love, his patient love. Between his school and my job, we didn't see each other as much as we had wanted to, but that did never dispirit him. He never let that get in the way. I knew that every night when I got off work, regardless of the hour, and I'd call him, he'd pick up. Even if there wasn't anything to talk about, I'd call him and he'd pick up no matter if he was with friends or busy or had a test the next day. Such was his patience, such was his commitment, such was his love. I'm so fortunate that even at a young age, I've had the opportunity to experience such an emotion for another man, and to know that it was reciprocated in time. One of Sam's favorite writers wrote that, the person a man chooses to love is a direct reflection of one's character. I really hope that that's true, because Sam's reflection so fervently outshines anyone's character, and I'm blessed to have his reflection upon mine. I'm so honored that you chose me, Sam. I'm so thankful that you let me choose you. I love you so much. 